hi everybody welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to show you how to access portigate gui uh, in peanut lab so i am going to open the vmware workstation hypervisor uh, so i have already power on my peanut lab so i am going to type the ip of the peanut lab in the browser so this ip is assigned my home router to peanut lab so I am going to type the exact IP in the web browser. And press enter. Now uh, for this lab demonstration, I am going to open a new lab and give a name to Portiget Firewall. In add now here right click and add a node and I'm going to select port in and for porting it and I'm going to power on the port in it now I need another uh, cloud which will assign a dynamic IP the firewall I am selecting management cloud and save now I am uh, connecting my cloud to port in it port 1 enter. now I double click on port in it now the VM of my port in it is getting started now first time uh, you need to type here admin and hit enter now you don't need to enter any password and again you hit enter and now it says please input a new password I am entering password and it says confirm password now I am in the terminal of 48 firewall and here is the command so i will also provide this command in the description so here you should type get system interface physical you can see my 48 firewall has been taken in ip with fort 1 uh, 192.168.0.113 so if i type this ip in the browser so i'm not getting the uh, GUI interface of FortiGate firewall so I need to give permission to this interface to have access on the browser so I type command config system interface hit enter and here I type edit fort and here is the number of fort so I already selected fort 1 and hit enter I type set allow access HTTP and you can also give access to SSH ping and hit enter now if you want to save this configuration type next last type and refresh the page so you here you can see I successfully getting the GUI up to the 40 gate so I type my username and my password and hit enter now I successfully log into my 40 gate firewall and now I can configure it with the GUI so that's all for today videos see you in the next video